We have updated the FKX Premium theme, and today we will help you customize it. Once you have your theme file, go to the Shopify Online Store and Themes tab. Click on Add Theme and Upload Zip File. Once the theme file is uploaded, click on Customize. First, let's set up the home page. Go to the Enter Page section. Here we can give the appearance of this page or disable Enter Page to display the standard home page. You can choose three types of background, image or GIF, solid color or video. If you have the change background with color checkbox selected, then the color will be displayed. If you want to choose a GIF or picture, then just uncheck this box. You can also choose two different GIFs for mobile devices and computers. If you want to choose a video background, then first you have to upload the video to Shopify. To do this, go to Content and Files and click on Upload Files. Once the file is uploaded, click on the copy link. Now we need to go back to Theme Customize and paste the video link into these fields. You can also choose two different videos for mobile devices and for computers if the video does not fit on small screens. To check this, click on this phone icon. Please note that if you are using video, then on iPhones in battery saving mode, the video will not be activated automatically and the play icon will be displayed. Therefore, we recommend using GIF. And if you have chosen a GIF in poor quality or want the background to be less noticeable, then you can blur the background using this setting. Let's move on to setting up the logo. Here you can select a logo in image or GIF or SVG format, as well as in GLB format, to display a 3D model with which you can interact. If you want to display your 3D model, then paste the link to the file into this field and activate this setting. You can also choose the size of the 3D model, as well as the size of the regular logo. If you want to display a timeline below the logo, then activate this setting and customize its color and size. Let's set up the navigation. You can select the menu we want to display and customize its appearance. If you want to display the menu as buttons, then you need to activate the Enable Menu Highlight setting. You can then improve the appearance of the buttons by reducing the font size, changing the static button and hover colors, and reducing the padding between menu links. If you want to display just one button instead of a menu, then activate this setting, select the link, and text. You can also display an image or GIF instead of a menu. Let's go ahead and customize the bottom of the enter page. Here you can turn off social icons, select their color, and also copyright color. If you do not want to display the copyright, then remove its color so that it is transparent. To connect your socials, go to Theme Settings and find the Social Media setting. Here you can insert links to your socials and also select the size of the icons. Let's return to the last Enter Page setting, activating the second background on button click. I think you have seen sites with such an effect, and here is a tutorial on how to achieve it using the premium theme. First, activate this feature and select the first background. Then select the background that should be activated by click, as well as the time for how long the second background should be played until the redirection works. Once you have set up the Enter Page, we can move on to setting up the rest of the theme. To do this, click on Catalog to go to the page with all products. To set up a header, click on this section. Here you can choose the position of header elements, choose menu and size of menu links. To select a logo, go to Theme Settings. Here you can choose the logo, its size, and the icon on the tab of your site. To set up running text, click on this section. Here you can disable it, select colors, text transform, and also write your own text. To customize the transition between pages, click on the Page Loader section. Here you can activate this setting, select the logo that will be displayed in the center, its size and animation background color. You can also choose the Page Loader style. If you click on Enable Page Loader Animation setting, then the transition between pages will be animated and the logo will pulsate. Now let's set up the newsletter pop-up. Using this feature, you can collect emails of your customers and create marketing campaigns. To activate this function, click on this section. Here you can choose pop-up colors, text, delay before appearing, and image. To check how the pop-up looks, you need to click on Preview. 
since the pop-up appears only once per visit to the website until you close it. You can also add date and time under the logo by activating it in this section. You can choose on which devices show this feature, choose the text color and size. To customize the background on the site, click on this section. The background setting here is the same as for the enter page, so I'm sure you won't have any problems with this. Let's move on to the catalog settings. You can activate or disable the hide sold out switch, as well as customize its appearance. You can also add a collection filter, but make sure you set up your collections so that your customers won't have any difficulty navigating through them. To set up the product grid, click on it. You can choose how many products to display on the page, the number of columns on PC and mobile, image ratio, and quick add button. Quick add has two display styles, list and pop-up. To customize the color of this button, as well as customize the appearance of product cards, go to theme settings and find catalog product card setting. First, let's figure out how to add this pre-order badge. To do this, go to Shopify products and select the product you want to add a badge to. Scroll down and add pre-order tag. You can add this tag to all pre-order products so that buyers do not have questions about whether this is a pre-made or pre-order product. You can also choose the animation for the appearance of product cards, customize the display of prices, product names, hide sale and sold badges, and enable glow effect and card borders. To set up footer, click on this section. Here you can hide email sign up, social icons, and also hide or add other features like country or region selector and language selector. To set up fonts, go to Theme Settings, Custom Font. Here you can activate a custom font or turn off this feature to display default Shopify fonts. To add your font to the site, add it to the files just like we added the video and paste its name and link into these fields. Please note that the font must be in WAF2 format. If your font is in TTF format or any other, you can use online converters. One of them is called Cloud Convert. If you want to display the Shopify font, turn this feature off and go to the Typography tab. Here you can choose fonts from the Shopify collection. To enable a custom cursor, click on this setting. Here you can activate it and select your image. To configure the main colors of the site, click on the colors setting. If you want to choose a dark site theme, then simply replace all white colors with black ones and all black colors with white ones. Here you can also remove the FKX media copyright in the footer by removing its color. The rest of the theme settings are optional, but you should pay attention to the cart and checkout settings. Here you can enable the show free shipping minimum amount feature, which is displayed in the cart. This will help you sell more since people love free shipping, but don't forget to set it in shipping rates by clicking this link. In checkout setting, you can choose its appearance. We advise you to design it by adding your logo, as well as choosing colors that match the color palette of the site. Now let's customize the product page by clicking on any product or selecting Default Product Template. Let's customize the product page so that it looks clear and convenient for your customers. On the left, in Product Information, you can select the blocks that you need. Pay attention to the shipping time block. You can configure it in such a way that customers understand when they should expect your products. I recommend choosing pre-made here since the premium theme has a separate template for the pre-order product page. You can also connect your size chart. To do this, you need to create a page and add a universal sizing table, then connect it to Theme Customize. To show or hide the previous and next buttons, click on Product Information and select this setting. These buttons let you navigate between products that are in the same collection, so make sure you set up your collections correctly. Now let's set up the Pre-Order Product page. To do this, open the menu and select Pre-Order Product Template. In this template, the text of the Add to Cart button is replaced with Pre-Order, and Pre-Order is also selected in Shipping Time. To display this template on your product, go to the Product Settings and select this template. Now let's set up the Lookbook page. First, create a new page and select the Lookbook template and go back to Theme Customize. Open this menu and select Lookbook Template. Here in the Slideshow section, 
You can add new images and descriptions for them in the form of slides. You can also change the background on created pages by clicking on this section. Now let's set up the pre-order track page. First, you must create a new page and select the pre-order track template, just like we did for the lookbook page. Here in the pre-order tracking section, you can add the status of your drop. For example, you can add a pre-order live status and select a release date and create a status when your drop ends. If your drop is not over yet, you can select the in-process status and the bar will animate to show that the drop is still over. You can also add a third shipped status, indicating when your drop will be sent to customers. Now let's set up the password page. To do this, select password page. To select a logo, click on the header section. You can also choose the logo size on both mobile devices and PC. If you have closed the site to a password page, then you can add a shipping status pop-up. By clicking on this button, your customers will be able to see up-to-date information about their purchase. For example, if your pre-order drop has ended and is now in production, you can write here that the collection is still in production or the collection has already been produced and will be sent within a few days. Let's move on to the rest of the settings. To set countdown timer, click on this section. Here you can disable it or select a date in the specified format. After you have selected the date, click Save so that the date is displayed. You can also configure the joint waitlist fields by clicking on this section. Here you can disable unnecessary fields and also choose their style. If you want to collect phone numbers, then watch our video on how to integrate it into the premium theme. To select the text color on the password page, click on this section. Here you can select the text color for the site, but if you want to select the countdown feature color, then click on its section. You can also choose your own background for the password page and customize it just like we did on the enter page. The last feature is the music player, which you can configure by clicking on this section. It will play your music file, which needs to be uploaded to Shopify files in MP3 format. Music will be played both on the password page and on other pages. Once you've finished setting up the password page, you can enable it in Shopify's Settings under the Preferences tab. Click on this checkbox and also select a password with which your customers will be able to access the site before the official release. Once you have finished customizing the template, go to the Themes tab, select Premium Theme and click on the Publish button.